Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel where we discuss the tools and the strategies to help you play more guitar better. I am your host, Alex Bourne. I am a teacher and guitar player based in the US. And today we will talk about the six reasons to quit guitar and how to overcome those excuses. Excuse number one for quitting guitar and how to overcome it is I don't have the time. So do you really not have the time or are you not making the time to practice? Be honest with yourself. How, how bad do you want to get good? Okay. So a more objective way to expand this idea and think about this is take an audit of your life and how you spend your time. Um, are you watching, are you watching Netflix? Are you, are you watching reels on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or anything like that? I know I do that and that sucks up a lot of time really easily. Um, are you watching movies? Are you playing video games? Um, what are some things that take up time? Not even a lot of time, but some things that take up time that you don't necessarily need, or maybe that you could trade for practicing or playing guitar uh, or getting better. Um, be honest with yourself because how honest you are is going to proportionally affect the success that you have. So if you're just waiting for time to fall into your lap to practice, it's not gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. There's always gonna be things that come up and uh, and distract you or things that you can use to procrastinate. You got to make time. It helps to schedule it. Um, you know, in the morning, wake up earlier, uh, go to bed later. Um, sometimes a lot of people find success in practicing like after they get home from school or after they get home from work. It's kind of a transition period out of their work day or school day into their home life. I think that's a really uh, romantic way to uh, think about it. Um, and that works for some people. You got to remember, everybody has the same amount of time. It's how you use it. So think about how you can use it to reach your goals and your dreams. The other excuse that I hear a lot uh, from people who want to quit guitar or are thinking about it or are just overwhelmed is, I don't want to waste the teacher's time. And this is one, of, I have a love-hate relationship with this, this excuse. Because if you think about it, it's such a weird excuse. Like every teacher who is worth their salt has determined that the rate that they are charging people is a fair exchange for their time and their, their knowledge and their expertise no matter how difficult the student is um, or how good they are or how bad they are. And um, if, you, if you say you don't wanna waste the teacher's time, it, it, it sounds like it means a couple things. It means either you think you're not paying enough, um, you're not paying the teacher enough, you think uh, either that, you, you might think, that, it, it sounds like you're saying that the teacher does not charge enough or it also sounds like you're saying that you've gotten worse than when you started and the the rate isn't a uh, fair exchange <laughs> for the difficulty at this point which are all really weird things to say and none of them really lead to any constructive solutions um, if if you find yourself wanting to say i don't want to waste the teacher's time try to phrase it in a more specific way with your teacher because as a beginner you got to realize you don't know what you don't know okay and if you are specific about what challenges you're having what you're struggling with then you will probably find out that the student the the teacher can help you with it they have a solution they have a treatment they've been there before they can help you through it but you got to be specific because they're not mind readers so that's another, uh, that's another excuse. You also got to break down your goals into small, tiny, manageable pieces. Like say, say you want to learn a song. Okay. That's kind of a, a medium goal, right? Um, 
well, it's a difficult song. Uh, you can't you you can't learn the the whole thing in a week. Okay, so um, can you do like an the intro this week, the verse next week, the chorus the week after that, the bridge the week after that? Can you do that? If not, break it down into smaller parts. How about two, you know, four bars, two bars at a time? Those are smaller pieces, you know, uh, and just work your way through the song. It, I mean, you can go as small as you want, um, and you'll probably find that the sooner you start achieving goals that are small for you, it starts to accelerate, and you can achieve bigger goals after that. So there's kind of a snowball effect to small successes and small wins. Um, so that's what I recommend doing if you are uh, feeling like saying, I don't want to waste the teacher's time. The third excuse that I hear a lot with beginner students is it's too hard. Okay, that's understandable. Um, and it's good if you can communicate that. Um, but you need to be a little more specific. What's too hard? Uh, is it the lick? Is it the technique? Is it the passage? Is it the speed? Um, are the, uh, is your instrument too hard? You know, are your strings too high? Is the neck warped? Um, are the strings too thick? Uh, maybe you need to play electric guitar instead uh, where the strings are, are smaller and closer to the, the fretboard. Um, as you can see, there's lots of different ways this could go. So you gotta remember as a beginner, you don't know what you don't know, and there might be a solution or a treatment out there for your problem, but you need to bring it up with your teacher. Um, so talk to them, they've probably been through it before. If you know any teacher who's worth their salt is gonna, is gonna appreciate the fact that you brought it up and not laugh at you, they're gonna, they're gonna want to help you, you know, and and that's that's what you wanna that's what you wanna do. Um, keep in mind, um, and, and if if you feel like things are always difficult, um, keep in mind that it's the teacher's job to challenge you, and learning anything is is challenging, and there are consistent challenges along the way, and. Oftentimes, and you can probably attest to this yourself if you look at look back on the challenges that you had in your life. Challenges are precursors to breakthroughs, and um, anything new is going to be challenging at first, but it's it's worth it, you know. And it feels good when you break through a challenge. So. Uh, don't don't give up. Don't lose heart. Communicate with your teacher and and you know look it up. Look it up on the internet. There's lots of ans answers on the internet these days too. The fourth excuse I hear a lot from students who are thinking about quitting and how they can overcome it is it's not interesting anymore. Okay, so if you find yourself saying that, I want you to also ask yourself. You know, have you seen live music um, lately? Have you uh, have you been listening to new music, heard new artists? Um, and more importantly, do you have a system for continually putting yourself in front of new music and uh, new new songs, new artists, new techniques? Um, you can find a lot of stuff on YouTube uh, just through the algorithm and um, the recommendations. Uh, it's really good for finding new th new things to challenge yourself. Um, and do you have a way of recording like uh, an inbox for all that stuff? Like anytime you see a video that looks interesting to you or anytime you see content on a topic that looks interesting to you, write it into your list. Um, I have all my students keep a list of just anything that sounds interesting to them as far as music goes. Um, so they put songs, uh, techniques uh, in this list. They just write it down. We share it so I can see it from my end too. Um, uh, songs, artists, bands, techniques, guitars, um, questions, uh, comments. Um, 
I mean, the sky's the limit, you know, but you got to you got to have a system for getting in front of new ideas and you got to have a system for recording those ideas uh, for working on with your teacher or working on with yourself. Um, now, uh, now tastes evolve and that's okay. And if you really seriously aren't interested in guitar anymore and there's just no way that can change, that's totally fine. Guitars are not for everybody. But oftentimes I find that um, these sort of uh, these sorts of challenges have 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 easy uh, e easy challenges and easy ways to fix things. The other thing you can do is go to open mics. Um, open mics are where people try out a lot of new material or get their practice uh, in in front of audiences, um, maybe get over their fear of audiences. Uh, so there's going to be there's going to be a lot of like people who are starting off. There's going to be a lot of rough performances. There will be good performances too. And it's always, every open mic I've been to has always been a, a welcoming, very accepting atmosphere. Because the, the general understanding is that people are here to just anything goes and people are practicing and people are trying things out. So that's a really good way to kind of meet people too, you know, are you meeting people that are also interested in music and that can that can lead to other opportunities and other avenues of creativity. So I would recommend open mics as well. The fourth excuse I hear from a lot of students that are thinking about quitting is, and often parents too, is the, the kid isn't practicing anymore or the student isn't practicing anymore. And so this can be this can be kind of a touchy subject, um, but usually you gotta have a real talk with the parent or the student, you know, are, and ask them, are you making it a chore? Is it something that you are like hounding them every day about? Um, because that usually doesn't work very well. Uh, in fact, I I find that a lot of students do a lot of kids do the opposite of whatever their parents. Um, tell them to do so much so that sometimes I have had parents come to me to say could you tell so and so to do this because if I tell them they won't do it <laughs> so um if that's if that's a situation with your with your kid you know I mean I think a lot of parents go through this this is kind of a phase you know but um you got to have patience and let them figure it out and let them find their way and nurture a passion, you know, and that it doesn't, it doesn't start gangbusters from the beginning, you know, it's, it's a slow burn, it, it takes, it takes a lot of uh, work on finding something you're interested in and, and, and finding a schedule that works for you and practicing getting better and successes and challenges and all those things accumulate into a, a passion so that takes time so you got to be patient and if i can give I, oftentimes i even find that i need to give a, a a concrete time frame for something like this i always say at least three months for this to start to begin um and to stick uh you're even looking at one year two years you know i've had students that have struggled for six months, nine months, but then after two years, they're just like exploding with uh, interest in the instrument. It's something you gotta be patient with because if you're not, you can really, you can really um, turn them off to something like that and any sort of similar endeavor like that in the future. So, so be careful with that. Um, it could also be a teacher issue, you know, um, I like to use, I, I like to just communicate a lot, uh, have an open line of communication with my students about what they're listening to, what they like, what their friends are listening to, what's cool at school, um, what they heard on the radio, just make it a routine thing to talk about those things at lessons. 
because that way you start to get ideas about what to learn, what to play. Um, you can even be movie music, video game music. I mean, video game music is really, really taken off right now. And there, there are bands that play exclusively video game music. And uh, it really explodes with like gamers and people who play video games, you know. So that, that can be a... Um, that can be something as well. So you want to talk with a teacher and make sure they're um, doing things that the student is interested in, as well as the fundamentals and the techniques. So it could just, and if they are doing that already and consistently and things are just not working out right now, it could just mean that the, the kid is bored and you just might need to do something different and that's all it needs to change. So you, you might have a good teacher who's doing that stuff already, but you just need to learn something different. Um, so that's, that's okay too. And any, any good teacher is going to understand that and be okay with that. Um, another question for, for parents, um, if this challenge comes up, um, is how many things is your kid doing right now um, that would, could possibly challenge guitar or not leave room guitar. Um, I don't know if it's an American thing or a Midwest United States thing, but I've had students that have been just doing so much stuff, so many extracurricular activities that there's, even if they liked guitar, there's no possible way they would have the energy to do guitar, you know? And with guitar, you need, you need practice time. And uh, sometimes having practice time means not doing so many things that you don't have the energy to practice. So, um, so make sure your, your kid isn't just like overbooked. The last excuse that I hear a lot from students who are thinking about quitting is we need to take a break or I need to take a break. And if you're, if you're burnt out, if you're overwhelmed, that's okay. And you have every right to take a break if you want. That's totally fine. But oftentimes I find that um, issues like this have deeper, deeper, more specific um, challenges that can be treated and do have fixes for them. Um, so if you're, if you're still interested in learning guitar and that's a dream of yours and you want to achieve it, you should bring it up with your, your teacher and be specific when you describe what your challenges are. Um, because like I always say, as a beginner, you don't know what you don't know. But if you are specific in communicating what is hard, then the teacher can offer their experiences, their, uh, their challenges. They probably overcome the same things um, and their treatments and solutions to the problems that you're having. But teachers aren't mind readers and um, they won't know if you don't tell them. So be specific. And I think that's probably a good place to end here because I, I feel like that applies to a lot of these problems. Um, a lot of these issues are, um, I find that a lot of these issues have deeper, deeper, uh, more specific challenges and things that can be fixed and treated. Um, but sometimes people are embarrassed to talk about it or um, nervous to talk about it or ashamed, you know. Um, but communicate with your teacher, foster a good relationship with them, and, um, you know, uh, ne never give up, really, you know. Always, try to figure out if there's a way to overcome your challenges. So this concludes our video on six reasons to quit guitar and how to overcome them. That's all I have for you right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck with me to the end of this video <laughs> and if you're still interested in watching more of my stuff, you can check out the, uh, the link, uh, somewhere here. Um, I haven't uh, edited it in yet, but check that out and I uh, hope to see you soon in the future. Peace.